Improve your optical engineering to manufacturing workflow with Optics Viewer from ZMAX. Serving as the perfect complement to Optics Studio, Optics Viewer bridges the gap between optical design and the manufacturing process. Improving our engineers' share optical design information reduces miscommunication. It speeds up the product development process and eliminates unnecessary iteration costs. In this video, I'd like to focus on the six ways Optics Viewer improves the optical manufacturing process. The first and foremost, Optics Viewer is a file viewer. You can load any sequential Optics Studio file without loss of precision um, or information. All design data is available. For example, the data that's contained here in our Lens Data Editor. But we also include design targets, which would be included in the Merit Function Editor, as well as tolerance ranges here in the Tolerance Data Editor. You can use Optics Viewer to share files. So you can export optic designs into CAD format for further optimal mechanical and design and analysis. And the available file types for that are STEP, IGES, SAT, and STL. You can also turn any optical design into a technical drawing that meets the ISO 10110 standard. To do so, simply open the ISO element drawing in the manufacturer dropdown. And you can see here that the last lens here on my 3D layout plot is also here contained in this ISO element drawing. And the ISO element drawing contains um, all information that is needed um, to move this, this lens into manufacturing. You can use Optics Viewer to analyze the performance of an optical system. So we have two different system viewers available. So besides the 3D layout that you can already see here, we also have a shade of model analysis of viewer available, um, which can be used to make um, beautiful 3D, 3D plots that can be used in any type of presentation or on a poster. Um, and it's nice and like shaded and illuminated, and it also provides you some sort of like cutting planes. To make to customize the pictures to your liking, um, you, you also have a set of analysis features available. Um, for example, um, an MTF plot where you can study the MTF performance of your system, or for example, the spot diagram. So you can see the spot size across the different field points of an optical system. But Optics Viewer is not purely a viewing software. You can also adjust any parameter in an optical design um, to study the performance um, of your um, optical system um, and visualize the effect a parameter has on the performance of your optical system. So for example, if I want to know what the effect of, the, of my final radius here, my last surface, um, what the effect of that is on my spot size, I can simply either change the value here manually by typing it in, or I could use the slider tool and actually look at a small animation that I can set up to have a, between a start value and a stop value of my last uh, surface radius. I click animate and it's giving me a small animation of how the spot size grows and shrinks as it moves through the, the range defined by the start and stop value.
And finally, um, I can use the ISO element drawing. Remember this from before um, to access a real time cost impact um, on a lens of, for example, size choices, material, quality and quantity based upon the lens data that's been submitted to a manufacturer in real time. So in the ISO element drawing, I set up the provider that I want to use um, to get my cost estimate from. I select the quantities, so in, in this case, two, five, and 10. I click OK, okay, and then I click on the cost estimate tab, and provided that all the information is correct and present, I get a real-time cost estimate delivered from my provider. And you can see here the cost between quantities two, five, and 10.